Welcome to Pachico 8. This video is designed to guide you through some of the basic and important functionalities that make Pachico so unique. Let's start by making some simple tasks. To create a new task, you can click on this button here, or use the keyboard shortcut Command and T. As you can see, the built-in natural language processing feature will try to automatically set the dates for you when possible. But if you want, you can also click here to manually set all the different fields. Let's save the task. By default, things are saved into your inbox, which is your capture all place. It is designed to quickly store all the small things or things that couldn't be categorized into projects yet. Let's go check it out. In addition to individual tasks, you can also make lists. Lists can have titles and any number of list items. List items can also have due dates as well. When this happens, this list item will be treated as a task, which will in turn show up in your dashboard flowchart and other various places throughout Pagico. You can reorder list items by dragging and dropping the handle here. That's how easy it is to create tasks and lists. Now let's take a look at managing stuff by projects. Projects are just data containers. You can use projects for small things such as event planning, trip planning, or larger scale things such as website design jobs and more. You can switch to the project section here and click on this button to create a new project. You can use the keyboard shortcut Command and N to bring up this dialog. For organizational purposes, you can tag projects using keywords. Since projects are data containers, they can store all kinds of things. Tasks, lists, notes, files, and many other things. Let's create a list first. In addition to lists and tasks, projects can also contain files and emails. To import a file, simply drag and drop into the view. Let's try to import an email message. As your database grows over time, you will end up with lots of projects. So it's important to tag your projects properly so you can use the built-in tag browser to easily navigate your ocean of projects. Besides projects, you can also manage contacts. You can create a new contact by clicking on this button here, or import existing contact information by dropping in from Apple Contacts app, standard vCard format files, or CSV files. Similar to projects, contacts are also data containers. So it's a perfect place for you to store contact-specific tasks, notes, files, and other things. Now, with the ability to manage both projects and contacts in the same app, you can actually cross-link projects or tasks with persons. Let's create a contact for a colleague of mine. Let's say that the documentation update project has a few things that involve him. To create a link, simply right click on a task and choose link with. When a link is created, you will be able to jump to the target with a single click. Alternatively, you can quickly set up cross links by using a square bracket syntax. At last but not least, you will be able to see all the linked items from the target container. As your database grows, you can quickly end up with lots of data scattered everywhere in projects and contacts. So it's important to quickly locate the things you need the most. The first feature you want to use is the start items list right here in the sidebar. As you can see now, I have two items. One is the project I use very often. The other one is the new contact that I just created. 
This is like a list of shortcuts. When you no longer need it, you can easily unstar it from right here. Another feature that's designed to help you stay focused on the current day is the Today View. Always one click away, the Today View gives you a simplified and focused vision of what your workload is for the current day. In here, you will see everything that's scheduled for the current day, things that are late, and things that are scheduled in the near future. You can easily prioritize tasks by dragging and dropping. Since things don't always go according to plan, our plans need to be adaptive. So we made it very easy in Pagico for you to reschedule things. You can reschedule by simply dragging and dropping tasks across different lists over here. Or you can go to the dashboard and drag and drop on the bars that you see here. Alternatively, you can easily snooze using the various available snooze options. If you would like to sync data between your computers and or devices, you can do so through the built-in workspace feature. Think of workspaces as shared folders for your projects and contacts. For most people, just one workspace is enough to sync data among personal devices. To get started, you will need to sign up for a Pagical ID account. Then, once you're signed in, you will see that a workspace called My Devices has already been created for you. This is a personal workspace that can sync with up to four devices. To clarify, workspaces are for projects and contacts. Your inbox data will automatically be synced across your devices without any configuration. Right now, this workspace is empty, just like an empty shared folder. To sync data, you need to add projects or contacts to it. Let's add my project here. Once the project is added over here, it will be included in data sync, and all your devices in the same workspace will have read and write access to it. Please note that all the projects and contacts are stored locally by default. Only the ones you added here to your workspace will be synced via the cloud. When things are being synced, you can observe the sync status from the sync status area. And for mobile devices, all you need to do is to sign in with the same Pagical ID account, and you will see your inbox data as well as everything that's in your workspace on the device. And changes made on those devices will be automatically synced back to your Pagical database on your computers. This concludes our introductory video. Please visit our help desk website for more tutorial, including advanced topics such as the use of Tag Browser for projects, tagging individual data objects, creating context collections, and setting up Pragical for Teams. Thank you very much.